Today on Done Different, we have a real quick project that should be only about a five minute video. What we're gonna do is fix our door to our chicken run here. I built this about six years ago and the screws are rotting out of the bottom and this mesh panel here has been kicked in because this is what we use to kick the door shut at night and I'm going to need to put a piece of wood over this to uh, not only secure it and keep the uh, predators out, but to uh, keep this in place and give us a place to actually kick the door shut in the evenings when we put the chickens up. So first thing I'm gonna do is take the door off and then I am going to cut these about an inch short on both sides, redraw the holes, remount the base, snip some of this off, throw a wood panel over it, and uh, see if it works out. The wood's gonna come up to about here or so. So I'm gonna cut a line about here, just to make sure we have enough room. Can't find my good cutters. So hopefully these will do the trick. Take forever, but better than nothing. Let's go ahead and get these ends cut off. Throw this back on here. I don't know if I should throw this back on here or use a new two by four. I think I'm just gonna use this one again. But uh, I'm just gonna eyeball this cut. Not really looking to make it perfect and I'm gonna have quite a bit of overhang from the uh, kick panel to make sure that uh, predators can't get in from the bottom or uh, pry the door. I'm gonna go ahead and take about a inch or maybe just a little less than an inch off. Look at that, got right to the edge where the screws went in. So over here, make sure that we're even. Just gonna score it with the blade. There we go. So now I know where to cut. So I'm gonna go ahead and mount this edge over here first. I'm going to pre-drill holes so that I'm not splitting the wood anymore than it already is. I am gonna try to pinch these beams together. To narrow up the door frame a little bit because it, it, it does rub on the latch side. Go ahead and get this side set. Does not need to be perfectly flat since we have an inch of space to work with now, which we did not have before. So now here, I'm gonna go ahead and tilt the door like this and pinch this in just a tad so that we're not rubbing anymore before I pre-drill these holes. I don't expect this to last forever, this fix, but it should give us a couple more seasons at least before we have rotting problems with these mounts again joints that is not mounts okay 
So now, let's have it, head over to the pond where I have a piece of wood that was badly curved that I am soaking in water that we are going to cut to fit and then screw over the top here. So this is a really thin piece of plywood that if I just stepped on it to straighten it out, I was gonna crack it. So I got it nice and wet so that when I go to screw it down, it will flex without cracking and then dry in place. So I'm gonna trim it after we screw it down. Let's redneck measurement here. There we go, that'll do it. this piece off here it's gonna be really close to the hinge so I'm gonna be really careful not to go too far again nothing perfect here no measurements just trying to get this done as quickly as possible Squeezy. All right, I'm gonna remount it. Then I'm gonna screw this to this. Use my Dremel to trim these screw heads off once they come through, and we're done. Ow! <laughs> I didn't use the good screws last time because I I actually remember when I built this five years ago, six years ago, that uh, I ran out of the short screws of the good deck type screws coated screws, whatever you want to call them. So we're going to use those this time. So it opens all the way. Still closes good. I'll have to drop the uh, point here for the barrel latch. I've had wild dogs try to get through this setup with no success, thank goodness. Not the perfect spacing, I don't really care. We're just trying to get this done so that I can get other projects finished. All right, that should be all secure. I'm gonna go through with the Dremel cutoff wheel. Cut those off so that those aren't dangerous spikes. Looks like I need to put some more screws in here. That's no biggie. Might as well while we're over here. Make it as predator proof as possible. Need some help with something. Safety first. There we go, no more dangerous spikes. All right, I think we're good. I think we're safe. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, share, all those good things. I'll see you in the next one. Billy D, screwing on out of here. We'll see you next time. Peace.